some measurement on the solution tank here. I've uh, already aligned to the CAD model and if you haven't seen that um, that module be sure to check that out too because alignment to the CAD model with surface points is a, is a very powerful part of the tool. But what I've got is a few measured features on this tank. Let me get into a view here and I'll zoom in just a little bit. These two attachments here, see this bottom left hand and this bottom right hand, both of those attachments right there are pretty important to the uh, to the client here for attachment of another piece. And I'll pull up the drawing here a second. What it's showing is that there's a distance between those two points, and I measured this in inches, so I've got a 17.936 dimension that comes out of the uh, out of the the nominal data. So what I'd like to do is show you guys how to take uh, measured data and go into review features and add nominals to it and give it a tolerance. So I will go back to CAM2 right now. And I've got those points measured already. So I will go to Dimension Length. In this case, I'm going to do a point to point. All right, then. I've got a few things going on here. I will pick on it here. I can just see that little purple. Let me zoom in just a little bit, just to make it a little bit easier to see. I've got a small circle. It's there. Okay, the attachment plate, front right. Now from screen, let me go over to this side and pick on that circle. That's the attachment plate, front left. And say, okay. So here's the output from that dimension length, point to point. Uh, the X dimension is the one I'm concerned with here. Um, so that is 17.932. Pretty close to what the nominal CAD was looking for. But this tank does have some generous tolerances too, which are a good thing. So what I'd like to do is I will just call this length. This would be the width of attach bracket mounts. Okay, if I had a drawing that was ballooned, maybe that would be dimension 7 or dimension 22 or whatever. But uh, I'll just call it the dimension between those uh, bracket mounts. Now what I'll do is go up to the nominals tab. And I'm going to hand key in. That's this icon right here, the 0, 0.0. I'll click on that. And now I've got the ability to hand key in the dimensions that I see from the drawing. Okay, in this case, I'm going to click on this radio button here and only give it an X component. Now, if I run back to my PDF here, my X component is 17.936. All right, let me populate that here. 17.936, and it's constructing it as a nominal dimension. So I will say OK to that. And here is what it just created, a nominal dimension. It's known as width of attached bracket mounts. And it's only got the X component here of the 17.936. The length component comes out as well, just comes along for the ride here. So let's say OK, and it's back to the results of my dimension. I'll look at the report. Okay, very cool. Now here it shows up. The nominal will show up in the in the comparison to the measured data. I've got some tolerances in here. And right here is the deviation. All right, well, that's not so bad. Okay, so that's pretty close. I've got about a four thousandths difference between those two mount circles. But I do have a tolerance on there. So let's go to the tolerances tab next. And then I'm going to deselect the Y, the Z, and the length, because those dimensions I don't want to show up on my report. I'm only concerned with the X component. And let's say, okay, their tolerance is 20 thou, plus or minus 20 thou. You click on that and go back to the report tab. Now, notice the 20 thousandths plus and minus has populated now in my tolerance column here. I'm taking the measured data and comparing it to the nominal, testing it against these tolerances, and that deviation of 4 thou net tolerance of 20 thou with this deviation of 4 thou makes me within the tolerance. And I'll say OK to that. And that's a quick way of grabbing dimensions from your drawing and putting them into your SAT file as measured dimensional criteria.